Okay, here we go. <laughs> right. First of all, I would like to deliver my very thank you and greeting to the three founders who celebrate such a meaningful competition for us to improve not only our English speaking skill but also our competitive skill. My name is Tin, but you can call me Ken. And I come to this competition to find an opportunity to improve my essential skills, such as presentation skills, English speaking skill, and other skill. By the way, I want to spread a vital message to the young generation who are getting stuck on the way uh, to become more confident. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Have you ever been a kid that always stayed at home, play video games, watch TV, and read comics only? Well, I was so lightly. In the past, I used to be a kid that, you know, I'm afraid to go out my house uh, I felt unsafe well at that time anything looked strange could freak me out easily and I was bitten by a dog when I was eight and I swore until the end of my life dog would be my blacklist not my friends okay besides I was bullied at school well my friend treated me like a weird alien and they and used they me like a like tool why I thought that I was helpful. Uh, excuse me, Hoon, can you turn off your... Okay. Yes, and at that time, I feel really, really depressed. I feel lonely, and my heart seemingly broken. Well, and it led to a sort of, a huge sort of uh, problems. It made me shy while I was speaking in front of a lot of people. I even shy to speak to a girl well it also prevents me from trying anything new however that I, that who i was i used to be not now okay so however there were a number of changes in my life that helped me to concur my witnesses and i tried a lot to boost myself up and i believed that one day i could change well, and one of the changes came slightly from the concurring, the fear of public speaking. And that's the reason why I come here. I would like to share my experience on how I achieved the 48 goals. Fear something, just do it. All right, so I would like to divide my presentation, my story into three main parts. First of all, I was to confess where the story began. And I, I, I will tell you how I suppose to overcome my problem in the second part, in is the past. And lastly, uh, you will know the after effect of uh, my success in the achievement part. And lastly, I will give you the message, very valuable message, that I hope that will encourage you to be more confident to be succeed like me. Okay, let's head to the first part. Well, the story began when I was a freshman, freshman of the university. That was the first time I had to present the topic in 15 minutes alone in front of a lot of people. Well, after crapping my team, we play a draw to see who will in charge in which part. And well, you know, I don't know why, unluckily I was the worst man on earth that picked a paper which I was chosen to be the goddamn presenter oh seriously that was my worst problem at that moment i had tried so many times before to speak randomly in a group of people but the result so that i didn't have a piece of skill of public speaking well then i can slightly convince my lovely teammates to switch wrong to me but none of them agree well it was easy to understood why they did that because presentation skill was one of the biggest nightmares to, to us students okay so i was on my own and everything that i know was the two week deadline ahead well if you had been me you would have said that was a disaster bad voice low prior eyes contact stupid body shaking and numerous of other mistakes well, however, a lesson in the past
has taught me not to give it up easily on anything. So I started my plan to be a professional presenter in two weeks. So what I did, I started to because I start to watch that video in, in one video per day during the first week. And after three days watching them acting and speaking, I figured out three main things to become a professional presenter. First of all was the feeling of the content, which you didn't only understood what you're gonna say, but you're gonna say, but either you have to feel the story inside. Secondly was the voice. The correction, the, the correct the correct pronunciation and good intonation will lead you to a closer success. And lastly was the body language, which will help your audience to catch up with the content, to catch up with what you are talking easily. All right. However, that was just a theory. It was freaking hard when I start my training days. You know, the next nightmare was messed. And, uh, uh, you know, have you ever forgot anything that you intend to say? Have you ever stand in front of the middle of the hall and your hand, the leg start shaking so much? and it stopped you from speaking so as well as me well and you know i i did pay i did pay a lot of effort on practicing with my camera but it seems so terrible when i watch those video again i watch my performance again it's useless it's terrible it's a nightmare so i give it up really but just in two days I don't know why at that time something inside pushed me up, remind me the deadline and told me that I couldn't lead, let the whole team down. I, anyways, I were the leaders, so I couldn't be so irresponsible like that. Right. So that was when the fight began. Okay, so what I did, I, I, I really, I have to collect on the video on the that I have made before and then I grab it up, uh, put it on together, then I compare it to some text presenters video to see how different it was. And the only thing that I realized that was missing at the moment was the confidence. You know why why our hand and our legs start shaking while we when when we started to, to speak? It was because you were afraid. You know why why you, you lose some information you lose you can't remember what you're gonna say when why why you starting your, your talk because you're afraid you know i afraid i, I i'm so fear that i i i didn't i didn't really look at the camera in the lens and speak to them so you know the information didn't go so smoothly and that was so that was the biggest mistake and when I find that, I have to find a solution as well, right? So I did make this. And it's good, it is also a good advice to you also. Well, whenever you present, whenever you, you present anything, you just image that uh, everyone, your audience are naked. Everyone are naked. And you will see how critical effective it is. Well, the, you know, I practice and practice and practice, and the results so an extraordinary, an extraordinary. Well, um, the teacher gave me ten marks, and all the sounds, the clapping sounds of the rest of the students make me feel like the rhythm of success, and it was great, really, really great. I finally did it. Okay, I love the winning feeling especially winning myself you know since then i realized that everything was possible that's when i decided to, to try more new things i decided to explore every aspect of my fear my weaknesses in order to fix this one by one you know when everything starts smoothly everything after will go more easier and so for example so just make an example I used to afraid to speak to a stranger, but I challenged myself to have a foreign friend when I was in Ho Chi Minh City, live alone, stay far away from my family. 
and you guess I, I did it. He he is fast and he comes from London. Uh, his passion is to help Vietnamese young generation to live more independently from their parents. And that was a long story how I met him and how we talked to each other. But now I and him was not only teacher and student, but also good friends. Uh, there are a bunch of things, a bunch of success later on. For example, I joined Ho Chi Minh Content Team at the time that my writing skill was absolute bad. Or I have to, to, to interview the three founders and write a report about them. Uh, you know, terrible the first time. However, I did it. It uh, similarly succeed, but not not so succeed, but acceptable. Or, but however, the, the, the most significant thing, the success, was the decision to be a leader of my club at school, uh, which was the Ho Chi Minh Ambassador. Well, I, I thought I used to, I, I thought that I couldn't make it because I hadn't made it before. I haven't been a leader, I haven't been a monitor, I haven't, been, I haven't joined any club before, but you know, my lovely teammate helped me to help me encourage me to be a leader and to be a good leader and with my efforts with my efforts also we did make a very very good performance until now and we are preparing toward the, the first event of uh, us in Ho Chi Minh City this October and I believe I strongly believe that with uh, our the, the event will go will succeed far more than we expect all right so hitting to the most important parts of my presentation, I would like to say that, guys, you're young, you're invincible, and you are unstoppable. You are more than who you think you are, so just don't let the fear inside prevent you from seeking the way you want. Just dare it, concur it, step beyond it, and you'll feel your own success feeling like me. What doesn't kill you make you stronger, right? If I can do it, I believe that you can too, right? Prove me wrong. Okay, well, I suppose that um, all I want, that's all I want to say. I hope that my story can help motivate young generation, you, to, um, to, to become more confident while speaking, while presenting, or whatever you're, you're doing in your life. And I hope that my message is strong enough to push you up make you believe that you can succeed as well. Well, so uh, thanks for your following from the beginning to the very end of my presentation. If you have any questions, just don't be hesitant to ask. Thank you.